In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today we celebrate one of the great martyrs and soldier saints of the Church, Theodore the Commander, who lived towards the end of the third century, excuse me, in the beginning of the fourth century, and was known throughout the empire as a great military tactician and general and commander. With such accolades to his name, it was strange when Emperor Licinius heard rumors that Theodore was a Christian, part of that condemned sect of people in the empire. And so he sent legates to St. Theodore and said, you must come to the capital, present yourself to the emperor, and explain yourself. And such was the eloquence and the power of St. Theodore that he convinced the legates to say, the emperor has to come to me. And so Emperor Licinius came to Theodore. And St. Theodore welcomed him with great honor, the honor due to an emperor. And as the emperor confronted St. Theodore, he said, I want you to prove to us all that you are not a Christian. We want you to worship our idols. And St. Theodore said, I'll do you one better. Give me your idols, your gold, your silver idols. I will bring them to my house. I will worship them with due honor and praise. And the next day, I will worship together with you, Emperor, here. The Emperor was overjoyed. That first and foremost that his great general was not a Christian and that he was giving such honor to the gods. Unbeknownst to the Emperor, though, St. Theodore that night destroyed the idols and distributed the metalwork, the silver, the gold, the bronze, the jewels to the poor of the city. And it wasn't until the emperor saw a beggar running with the head of the goddess Artemis that he began to suspect he had been had. So when St. Theodore presented himself, he boldly declared himself Christian. Such was the rage and the anger against St. Theodore, that the emperor not only had him crucified, but had his eyes gouged out, had him shot full of arrows, and had his privy parts removed. Thinking that St. Theodore had been killed and honored in this way, the emperor came the next day to take his body down from the cross with his soldiers and saw that St. Theodore was whole and alive. Seeing that he could do no more, the emperor had him beheaded, and this is how St. Theodore ended his life. In the gospel that we heard today according to St. Matthew, the Lord said, Do not think in your head how you will answer the kings and the rulers when you are brought before them, the Holy Spirit will give you utterance. And indeed, the Holy Spirit gave utterance to St. Theodore, first and foremost in his actions, as he gave to the poor, and as he endured torture for the sake of our Lord. Horrific torture, and yet was made whole, showing us the powerlessness of man. Thus, when St. Theodore was beheaded, it was his victory to enter into the kingdom of heaven. St. Theodore's name literally means gift of God, and his courage, his stalwartness, his personhood shows us an example of that gift. Let us emulate that courage. Let us emulate that giving spirit, and let us go forward in the pursuit of Christ our God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.